Oh, hi there. I was just browsing my photos using the Photos app in iOS 15. With iOS 14, Apple revamped the Photos app experience by giving us easier ways to navigate and manage our photos. In iOS 15, Apple has added more features to get the most out of your photos, be it just looking at a photo or identifying objects within a photo. iOS 15 comes with a rich information pane. You can access the pane either by swiping up the photo or tapping the information button at the bottom bar. And here you will find some useful information such as the date and time the photo was taken, the camera that was used to take this photo, the image format and the lens information along with some technical details. And you can also get the location information of the photo. And the location and the date and time taken are both adjustable. So you can adjust the date to be something from its original. And you can always reference the original here in case you modify the date. And you can also adjust the location and also remove the location if you want to. And in cases where you mapped to the wrong location, you can always revert that will take back to its original location the iPhone recorded for your photo. Because this information that you're looking at is stored within the photo, it also works with your old photos or other photos that you import from other apps. So for example, here's a photo that I took using my Canon EOS 80D DSLR and it also has the lens information which is using the Canon EF 70-200mm lens. And similarly, if you look at this image, it tells me that this was taken using the Apple iPhone XS Max with the white camera. One other thing that the info pane provides is from which app your photo was saved. So for example, for this photo, I used the Spectre app, a third party camera app to capture this beautiful shot of the waterfall. And you can see the information available as saved from Spectre. And I can tap on that and look at other photos I took using the same app. And similarly, if you look at this particular image, it shows that it was saved from the Safari browser. And finally, you can add a caption. And a caption could be something related to the landmark, related to an occasion, but it helps identify your photos and give a meaning to it, right? So for example, here, I'm gonna type the location where I took this photo, which is a reflection lake at Mount Rainier National Park. And now I can always go back and search for reflection lake or just look at this photo and understand that this is a reflection lake in Mount Rainier National Park. With iOS 15, you can now interact with the text directly in your photo. So for example, here's a photo with a lot of text. I have a button at the bottom right here, which is right now not that visible, but if you tap on that, it highlights all of the text that you can select in this photo. So now I can just tap and hold the text I want to select. I can copy the text. I can use the lookup service to look up for the text, any meaning or definitions if I want to. I can also translate the text and I can also share the text with other apps. The cool thing here is the translation. So now I can tap translate and this is going to translate the Spanish information available in this particular image to English or the language you choose from. In this case, you can see it as translated from Spanish to German. However, if you want to change those languages, you can do so. You can tap on change language and here you have the option to choose the original language and the language that is used for translation. I'm going to tap on English and now if I go back, you will see the translation coming up in English. Now I can ask the translation app to speak or I can also perform other operations here, which is copy translation or add it to my favorites or open directly in the translation app in your iPhone. Now, here's a cool feature added to the Photos app, which is called the Visual Lookup. Visual Lookup uses Siri knowledge to identify and recognize some of the objects and scenes in your photo. In this case, here is a photo from Mount Rainier National Park with the Mount Rainier in the background. The info button already indicates that there is more information available here. So if you tap, now you can see that there is information about the lookup. 
and here it says about the landmark and tapping on the landmark I get information about the Mount Rainier here from Siri knowledge and I can also browse some of the similar images from the web if I want to check out other cool uh, photographs or images for this particular recognized object. And you can see the photo is also represented with a button at the bottom right to indicate that there is a landmark identified in this photo. And similarly, if I look at this photo, it has identified and recognized a plant. It also identifies pets. So for example, here is my dog and it has identified the dog in the picture. And I can look up the dog and look at whether it is able to give me the right breed for the dog or I can browse similar web images that is very close to my dog as well to get to know it. But it, it is really something I feel that will take time to improve. So hopefully as Siri gets better and better in recognizing objects and the Siri knowledge gets better and better with knowing things, these two could help you learn more about your photo. Now within the Photos app and the Spotlight search, you can search for photos by location or by text within the photos or even by the objects recognized. To search photos from the Spotlight search from your home screen, you can swipe down and then type photos and then followed by the term that you want to search. And here I typed dogs and you can see I get photos uh, for all my dogs. Now the other thing I can do here is search for text as well. So I can type safe and then now you can see that I actually get text found in photos. If I tap, it'll also highlight the text. So that's very useful. Now I can search for location. I can search for the objects recognized like my pets and other objects and also search the text. And remember, it can also work with scenes. So for example, if I type sunrise, you can see that it also gives me photos related to the sunrise. So the photo search I think has become very powerful in iOS 15 with all of these updates. Now, of course, if you don't want your photos to appear in the spotlight search, you can go to settings, tap on photos, and then tap on Siri and search, and you can control the behavior here. Memories have also received great updates with the iOS 15 and the photos app. Now, if you go into a memory, and you will see that you have more options in the bottom. You have a customization option to customize the background music and also choose a nice filter for your memory photos, as well as you can browse and view all of the photos included for this memory. If you want to manage the photos, you can tap the more options and you will get manage photos where you can now select or remove uh, add or remove photos for this particular memory. Now, if you want to add music and customize the look, you can tap the button on the bottom left and then that will take you through a series of memory mixes, which is what Apple calls it. And you can just swipe left and right to navigate between the different mixes. Now, this mixes includes a look for your memory which is here, you can see the looks are very different. Here is a black and white mix, whereas here is a cool bright mix. And also it chooses a song for that particular memory. Now, if you want to customize the look and feel, you can tap the filters button and then that will open up the filters view where you can now choose a filter for your memory. To customize the music, you can tap the music button. Of course, I can select a music from the available soundtracks here or I can search the music from my Apple Music subscription. And let's say here, I wanna find the song, Who Let The Dogs Out. And now I can select that song and that becomes my background music. However, if you notice, there's a small information icon. So what it means is that because this is not a royalty free song, you cannot share with other users. So when you want to share, you would have to change your background music and we'll see that as well. Now I can tap done and then the music will be used for my this particular memory, which is cool. So now I have a very relevant apt music background score for this particular memory. 
And here is where it gets interesting if you had chosen a song from your Apple Music. If I go to share, now you will get that this song that you have chosen is not shareable. So you would have to now choose a shareable soundtrack which then lets you pick from the available soundtracks uh, from the Apple's catalog. So once you choose that, then you will be able to share this memory with your friends and family. When Apple introduced the featured photos section and the photos widget in iOS 14, one of the major complaint was um, how do I remove strangers and other folks that I don't want to see from this featured photo, right? And now with iOS 15, you can do that. For example, here in this photo, I can long tap and now you can see I have an option to feature a person less. I can tap that and now I'll get the option to remove one or more people associated with in that photo. So that way, now I can tell Apple to not feature certain people in the photos widget as well as in my featured photos. With all of these updates, I think Apple is going in the right direction in improving the Photos app. Of course, there are tons of features that we would like to see. Hopefully, iOS 16 will bring those features. But until then, I think these are solid updates to the Photos app in iOS 15. Let me know what you think about the updates. If you like this video, do give a thumbs up. And if you want to see more tips and tricks, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye.